Hello friends! Hello guys, how are you? Today's video is DIY crochet. For me it's always crochet season. I just read the other day they say here is craft season, but I think it's all year long, it's actually craft season, at least for me. While being in Spain, I got to visit my favorite craft store. Yeah, it's my favorite craft store in my city. It's called Las Tijeras Magicas, that translates to the magic scissors. And I went there with my mom because she had to get some yarn she needed for project she was into. And she gifted me with a crochet kit. I've never done any crochet kits, um, or actually any kit, I think. Well, yeah, I've actually done like cross stitching or sewing uh, kits. I'll show you actually one that I did. <laughs> I did this one, I think it was beginning of this year because I put like 22 here or 2022 and yeah it's a possum and I love it I love possums they scare me but <laughs> I think they're kind of like ugly cute kind of and yeah these are the types of kits that I've done craft kits kits k-i-t-s don't know if I'm pronouncing it okay but you get it I got gifted by mom with a crochet kit. So it just started raining and I'm not sure if the light is going to be okay. Uh, let me just try one thing. Is it better now? I think you can see me better. I don't know. I'm going to show you the video, all oh, the video, no. I'm going to show you the kit. This is the store, lastijerasmagicas.com. They have a website. I'm not sure if they will ship to Australia, but I know they ship like to various different places. I will check if they ship to Australia. But it's amazing all the materials and supply that they have. And yeah, this is not sponsored or anything. It's just like, it's my favorite store. And the kit, I haven't told you what it is yet. Yeah, it's a crochet kit, but it's to do a bag. So this is the kit. And I think it's adorable. So it comes with the handles and it comes with the yarn that Apparently, I won't need more yarn than this one. So, um, they had like very different combinations of colors, but this one was my favorite one. I think it was the more neutral one, maybe, and I can actually use it all year long here in Melbourne. Yeah, this is the kit. And it comes, um, I haven't opened it yet, but I was dying to film this so I can start doing it. It comes here with a QR code. I'm going to try actually with you guys right now. So you just get your phone and you scan the QR code and it opens up the website where you have the pattern. Where you have the pattern for these or this back. You have it in Italian, Spanish, German, and English, French, yeah. So the English one is the one we're interested in. And yeah, you just have to follow the, um, the diagram or the instructions here. Yeah, so I'm going to film with you guys what I do. I hope you guys follow along. I will actually post here the brand of this kit because maybe if my craft store doesn't send to Australia maybe you can find it in your local craft store or something similar. The yarn that comes with the bag is 100% cotton and it suggests a 
3 or a 3.5 millimeter hook. I will actually do it with the 3.5 because I just learned while I was in this craft store that I tighten a lot my stitches. I didn't know that, but yeah, apparently I do. So I will do it with the 3.5, so it's not like too much, um, like too little, um, like too tense, you know? So yeah, <laughs> you guys, I'm just gonna start. Following the instructions, um, the colors that were assigned to each of the granny squares were actually the colors that come in the um, like book cover or <laughs> yeah the picture at the cover so they were those colors so I just had to change like the combinations with the colors that I have so as you can see well it's in Spanish but yeah like um pink, gray, the light brown, black, da 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 da. So I just did this picture. This was my first attempt, yeah, and then I had to, yeah, change it. <laughs> this is pretty bad. So I changed the colors and I'm gonna show you what I have until now. This is what I have until now. So as you can see, I'm in the eight right now well i have to do the b here and the little um half of the granny square here that it's the letter f so yeah as you can see i'm getting there they're pretty big like look at my hand and the granny square so you can see more or less like the size this is just half of the bag so yeah it's gonna be a pretty big bag and i'm excited I'm really excited about the bag that I'm making. I think it's going to look great. I'm really happy of the colors that I choose because I know it's a bag that I um, will be able to wear with everything because it has like a very neutral colors. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. Right now I'm doing half of a square. Yeah, my arm doesn't really... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm actually here. I'm gonna keep working on it and I'll show you guys how I go. Okay, I still have one more round and yeah, one, yeah, one less, one less to go, yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm almost about to finish my crochet bag. I'm so excited to show you. Yesterday night, I finished doing all the granny squares. Actually, I got to the two triangles. This is one. And the other one, I've put it already together. And I've been joining all of the granny squares with just, instead of what I've been doing in my previous video, you know, this trick that I was like to join them super fast, because this was a bag and probably I will put some weight in it. I really want it to be uh, more uh, strong and resistant. So I've been joining all of the granny squares with uh, just a simple uh, stitch. And this is the result. I think it's huge. <laughs> Look at it is. It's huge, right? But I love it a lot. The colors and matching actually. The colors are adorable, I really like them. I know I'm gonna use it a lot. So up till now, what I have, it's 
practically all of the back i've cut also all of the ends as you can see no ends yes sonia um i did a good job with that because i've been like every granny square that i finished i've tried to like tuck in all of the ends that was yeah i think i have to do that every time but i'm too lazy for it so now what we have to do left is just put here in this triangle here i don't know if you guys see it yeah in this like kind of triangle thingy we're just going to put this one and then we'll go and put the hangers straps this is not a strap yeah just the, the handle the handle yeah we will just put the handles in so so yeah let's finish it together so joining the granny squares guys you can do it with a knitting needle but yeah I don't know I prefer to do it with the crochet hook so I'll just find here the corner and the corner here and I'll just join them like this just to secure it sorry guys that is black and I know black I'm even having trouble to see it what you just try to do is just to put all the opposite stitches in front of each other so you can see these um, half knot stitches that we did here we just put it like opposite way of this one so we know we're doing the same number of stitches on, its, on each side almost finished I just need to put the handles so if I look at the picture of the pattern the handles are like from one point to another yeah it's not the whole triangle so we'll just have to put it in the middle and let's see no Hello, who is this? No, wrong number. Okay, bye. Okay. So it's not really easy. Like, I think it's not easy. It's just that uh, to get the, um, the bamboo and it's a bit wobbly. But yeah, I think I'm getting into it. I only have this done, but yeah, I'll get there. So I'm not sure if I am actually doing it right or not. I don't know why I, my mind cannot figure out how to attach a bamboo uh, handle to the back. It blows my mind. 
and I don't know how to do it, but it's okay. I just watched a tiny tutorial and I think I'm fine now. first handle is on then I will have to just put the straps a little bit nicer yay <laughs> okay now I'm working the other one I actually have to leave now but yeah guys um I'll come back when the back is already finished okay I'll try to get some good pictures outside because it's sunny today so yeah I'll try to do that but I'm so happy I love it. I really, really like it. This is the final result. I'm super happy for it. And yeah, I have a new hair color. That's why I was like, come back later. It took a bit longer but than I thought. But I'm still in time to show you this amazing bag. Don't you guys love her? What do you think about? I think it's great. I'm super excited to wear this me made bag and you guys should give it a go. It's amazing. Just let me know if you have like any questions, any tips that you would like to if you attempt to do it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and give me a like and see you guys on the next one. Bye.